you don't have a large sexual repertoire. I don't think it's about having no skills or anything like that. But I would say it's not personally, I'm not saying me, good girl, I'm saying in general, Mm -hmm. good women. I would just say that women that are accustomed to monogamy find sex sacred. That's all it is. So sex is a sacred experience. It's not that they're madly in love with their husband sometimes. It's just that they don't want to have sex with anybody else. Simple as that. They don't want to touch another man once they're with this man. He could be a nightmare. He could drive her crazy. He could be unfaithful. He could be a headache. Her monogamy comes from her perception of sex. And usually her perception of sex is that it's incredibly sacred. It's not something you spread around freely. And I don't feel comfortable exposing these skill sets that I've learned to any man. Women who are able to expose a lot of that to several men early, very early on, just have a more relaxed perception of sex. I'm not saying they're wrong or bad women, but their perception of sex is it's a fun activity. It's not a sacred activity. Nothing wrong with that. But as a result of it being a fun activity, just like how you might play tennis with a couple of people and everything, they might see sex in that same way. It's not that serious. If you want to know how monogamous a woman is, it's not how you treat her. It's how she sees sex. The game that this lady just gave you is... This is something that I've kind of always, I guess, lived by when it comes to a woman that I would court, a woman that I would take seriously, a woman that I would date seriously, right? What she said was facts for one. Fellas, when you are thinking about pursuing a woman seriously in this day and age, 2024, going into 2025, and you're potentially thinking about marriage, family, and all of these things, right? If you're someone who values yourself, if you're someone who doesn't want to be embarrassed out here about a person that he's with, all of these things, somebody who put in work to get to where you at. You don't want to associate yourself with someone who doesn't value themselves. And basically all she's saying is that a monogamous woman and a woman who's not going to sleep around with a bunch of men, it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with you or it doesn't have anything to do with the guy that she's dating. It more so has to do with how she views herself and how she values herself. And If you're that type of guy who's looking for commitment, a committed relationship, marriage, or whatever the case may be, and you're looking for for how to vet certain women, one way you can easily tell is based on how she views herself and how she values herself. Now, like she said, women that want to sleep around with a bunch of guys, that's what they want to do. Cool. But I wouldn't advise that that's the type of woman that you want to partner yourself with or have standing next to you seriously long term because it just goes to show how she values herself i'm not here i'm speaking straight i'm speaking straight to the fellas you know i'm not here to, to bash women or, or talk about women on that this is specifically about how you should be vetting how you should be courting certain women it's, it's categories you know some women are wifey material and some are not this is just is what it is a woman that views her, A woman that values herself, she doesn't want to just give anyone access to her body. That's just what it is. And what this woman is saying, a woman that's going to be a monogamous woman and not sleep around with a bunch of men, she's going to be a woman that views sex as sacred. That's going to be difficult to find nowadays. We're living in the days of sexual liberation. It's all in the music. It's all on TV. It's just like this. It's like eating food at this point. You know, it's, it's not a big deal to most people, to most women that you come across. Sex is just not a big deal. But I want to say if you do come across a woman who values herself to the point where she doesn't want to let any man get access to her body without putting a ring on it, without showing up a certain type of way, that type of woman is going to one have an extremely low body count typically. And then also the way that she values herself is going to show you that this is somebody that you can probably stand next to. But in today's day, that is very difficult. But these type of women are out here. I personally know a couple myself. They are out here. Women that value themselves so much that it don't matter how much urges or desires they have. They're just not going to get a body up to any old man. You know what I'm saying? So you you being a man, you're going to have to show up and you're going to have to step up a certain type of way with these type of women. It's not just going to be the typical take them on a date, take them on two dates, take them back to the crib, smash, keep it pushing. You know, the typical routine that this culture, this this hypersexual culture has been engaging in. There are some women out here that don't participate in that. And I just want to say these type of women are the ones you want to stand next to. But let's keep watching the video. Especially 
men viewing pornography. Mm. So is, is that your, your opinion that pornography is actually yeah. is drastically hurting modern day? I, I feel a bit like a broken record because it's like uh, when somebody comes to me, first thing I ask is what's your pornography habit? Firstly, what it does is if they're single, it primes them for being cheated on in their relationships heavily. And the reason why they, it primes them for being cheated on when you watch a lot of prog- pornography is men are in, become impatient with sexual satisfaction the more pornography they watch. So when they're dating and on the dating scene, the woman that takes a lot of warming up before she gets promiscuous or before she starts to introduce new ideas and stuff, she, good women, they take a, they need emotional connection first. Women that are actually monogamous, they need emotional connection and then you can experiment. What happens with men that watch a lot of pornography, they don't have patience for a girl like that. They want a girl that is happy to join threesomes, use all sorts of toys, do all sorts of craziness from day one. That's the girl they want. They don't realize in the process of selecting that, she has to have some level of promiscuity behind her. So as a result, they get attached to this fantastic sex that they get immediately, not realizing the woman comes with an unconscious contract that I do this all the time. You are not special to me. I can be this promiscuous and this freaky with several men. So they end up getting madly attached to this woman who has a different perspective on monogamy and monogamous sex. The second thing it does is it really ruins their sexual performance. But Once again, man, all facts. I agree with everything she said. I made a video a while ago about why you shouldn't be fapping all the time, man. Why you shouldn't be rubbing one out all the time. Why you need to eliminate that out of your life. Why well, you need to cut watching them type of videos all the time. For one, it's going to ruin your reality when it comes to engaging with women, right? Your perspective is going to be skewed. And the type of women that you're seeing in them videos are not the type of women that you're coming across on a day-to-day. And so what she's saying is you're going to have a tougher time connecting with a woman outside of the bedroom if that woman isn't fulfilling your fantasies that you're seeing on these videos all the time. Right. And then the type of women that you're, that are going to fulfill these fantasies without having to build some real connection with you. Those type of women do this on a regular. And those are the type of women that you should be building with long term. So now you falling in love with her in the bedroom and all the things she could do in the bedroom. But outside of that, she's not going to be wifey material. She's not going to be somebody that you should be dating seriously because the way she got to that point where she can involve herself with you and engage herself with you without having a real emotional connection. The way she got there. Is by being promiscuous with a bunch of guys before you and like i just stated in the earlier point those type of women doesn't don't value themselves the same way as someone else does that view sex as sacred they don't view sex as sacred they view it as whatever it's like riding a bike or going out to eat it's just another day at the office for them and i would not recommend at all wife and those type of women so watching these type of videos, fapping all the time is ruining your perspective of real life and is going to have you being more attracted to or is going to have you connecting with the wrong type of woman because you're only connecting with her based on how she show up in the bedroom. You fulfilling these fantasies in a bedroom, but then she ruining your life in every other area of your life. That's why you have to be very, very careful with who you sleep with, man. Uh, to the young fellas bro i get it you got all these urges all these hormones and all that stuff the dopest the dopest men learn to control these things they learn to control these urges they develop discipline and you move a certain type of way you're not out here just chasing every woman you see that's what that's going to be one of the most toughest things you have to learn but if you can conquer that and you can develop some discipline to control your urges you're going to be a beast out here man Let's keep going. But they think they're fantastic. So it gives a complete warped perception of reality. They think they're reincarnating all these moves and showing her all these skills and she's going to love this. I'm going to throw her around the bedroom and do this, that and the other. She's just thinking this feels like mutual masturbation. It doesn't feel connected in any way, shape or form. So they actually end up being a serial daters in one night stands, not because they're so great. It's because women don't come back to them. Women don't want them again. They don't want that kind of dis. And the only ones that might do are the ones that are incredibly promiscuous and like that kind of vibe. And therefore, they end up in relationships that actually were built on intimacy, but don't have any intimacy. Yeah, bars, man. She was speaking. She was speaking. Relationships that were built on intimacy, but don't have any intimacy. That's basically saying you connected with this woman in the bedroom. 
But outside of that, y'all don't have a real connection. I've been in a situation like that before. That's how I know I can speak on it. Been in a situation where it's like, dang, man, everything outside of the bedroom is, is terrible, you know, for the most part. Like, you can see that this woman is not a good partner. She's not a good person that you should be building with. But then in the bedroom, everything is fire. So now you conflict it, right? You're going back and forth. Do I let this woman go back out into the streets? Because I know I got this super sexual connection with her. Or do I continue to try and, and mold her into something that she's just not? And newsflash, you're not going to be able to mold her into something that she not. If she for the streets, she for the streets. If she got a crazy promiscuous past, she got a crazy promiscuous past. It is not your job to try and fix her. That's something that she got to do on her own. But you trying to fix her and you trying to turn her into a housewife because y'all got a fire connection in the bedroom. It's a disaster waiting to happen, bro. And, and every time y'all get into it, every time y'all argue, every time y'all break up, she running right back to the streets. She don't value sex. She don't value herself. So she running right back to the streets and she about to let the next dude smash within a week or two, within a month or two. Think about it, bro. All the time. You, you and your girl get into it. You and your girl break up or take a break. Look how she move as soon as y'all are not together no more. If she runs right back to the streets or if she let a dude smash a week after y'all done broke up, a month after y'all done broke up, she doesn't value sex. She doesn't view sex as something that is sacred. And that's not somebody that you want to build with long term anyway. That's why I always tell guys, don't try and control a woman. Don't try and, and, and stop her from doing certain things. See how she move in certain environments. She, see how she move when y'all upset with each other. See how she move when y'all take a break. See how she move when y'all break up. Just see how she move when y'all break up. That'll let, you, that'll let you know everything you need to know. Don't try and stop her, bro. Let her move in these environments. See how she, see how she move when she around your homeboys, when she around guys of, of, of certain levels, higher caliber. See how she move. Does she get all giddy and, and, and her character changes? Does she show that, no, she's with you and for you only? Or does she got a wandering eye? Just see how she moves. You got to put your woman in certain situations. Well, not put her in these situations, but you got to let her be in these certain situations so you can see how she is. Before you talking about putting a ring on it and marrying her and putting your whole life on the line, signing your life away. That's why it's better to lock in at a younger age when you're younger. If you can lock in with somebody that's on your level and y'all can build and grow together, great. But the older you get, the longer you wait, the more difficult it's going to be to find a woman like the woman in this video or how she's talking about the women in this video. Women that view sex as sacred. Women as view, that view themselves as sacred. They view their bodies as sacred and they're not going to just let anyone get access to them. Yes, these women are going to be harder to obtain because you're going to have to show up as a real man. But these are the type of women that if they view themselves as valuable, they're going to cherish their family. They're going to cherish their children. They're going to cherish their, their, their marriage. They're going to view all of these things as sacred. And it's not going to be so easy for somebody to just come in and crack your girl. They hard to find. Trust and believe they are hard to find, but they are out here, bro. They, they do exist. Don't feel like you got to feed into the culture that's going on right now or you have to accept a woman who had a crazy past just because she grew up listening to sexy red type artists or grew up listening to Glorilla type artists. Ice Spice type artists. These are the these are the chicks that's raising a lot of these young girls nowadays and they're going to grow up and be doing the same thing. You don't have to feed into that culture. You don't have to accept that or accept those type of women as your wife. You don't have to. You can hold off until you come across one that was raised right, that grew up with morals and principles and values herself. She views herself as sacred. She views herself as worthy because a woman that has not been contaminated by the world, has not been touched by a hundred different men. That woman is valuable. That woman is sacred. Purity is value when it comes to women. So always keep that in mind. But I just wanted to react to this video, man, because I felt she was giving some real good game. And I felt that this is something that you guys need to consider when you're vetting and when you're dating and when you're courting these women. Every every woman doesn't deserve the same level of treatment, the same level of courting process. They just don't. It is what it is. There's levels to this and there's different categories to this. If you learned anything in this video, man, hit the subscribe button. Join the Patreon down below, man. I got a lot of good game in there. Hit the like button. Share the video. Somebody you might need to know. And I got more videos on the way, man. Peace.